Hi guys. Today I will discussing subtopic of solubility of liquid in liquid. I have already uploaded a video covering basics. Check out that video. You will get the link in the description box. Phenol water system. Phenol water system is an example of partial miscibility. The curve in figure represents the miscibility of phenol in water. The left hand side of the parabolic curve which is drawn as red line, represents the percentage of phenol, dissolved in water at various temperatures. The solubility of phenol increases with temperature. The right hand side of the curve again see the red line, represents the other conjugate solution layer that gives the percentage of water and phenol. About conjugate solution, when equal volumes of two liquids are shaken together, two layers are formed. These two solutions are referred to as conjugate solutions. The solubility of water in phenol also increase with increase of temperature. Now, these two solution curves meet at the maxima on the temperature composition curve of the system. This point over here corresponds to temperature 66 degree and composition of phenol as 33%. In this picture, the blue circle is your critical solution temperature. Thus at a certain maximum temperature, the two conjugate solutions merge, become identical and, only one layer forms. And this temperature is known as critical solution temperature. In other words, the temperature at which the two conjugate solutions or layers merge into one another to from one layer, is called the critical solution temperature or upper consolute temperature. This is characteristic of a particular system and is influenced very much by the presence of impurities. Which means, if impurities are present in one of the solution, the critical solution temperature varies from the standard temperature. Remember, different solution have different critical temperature. The determination of critical solution temperature may, therefore, be used for testing the purity of phenol and other such substances. At any temperature above the critical solution temperature, phenol and water are miscible in all proportions. That is, they form one single layer. Now can you these green lines? Outside the curve, that is the green region, there is complete homogeneity of the system, that is one layer only exists. Similarly, the blue line region, which is below the curve, the two layers will always separate out there, and gives compositions of the conjugate solutions constituting the two layers. At 50 degree a mixture of equal proportion of phenol and water, will form two layers whose compositions are given by A and B. The pink line joining the points M and N corresponding to the compositions A and B is called the tie line. I repeat, pink line in this figure represents tie line. This line helps in calculating the relative amounts of the two layers, which is here given by the ratio Mn upon ml. Some other liquid pairs behaving like phenol water system are methanol and cyclohexane, hexane and aniline, carbon disulfide and methanol. That's it for today. For more videos subscribe to our channel.